Hey and welcome back. Now that we have our login flow, let's focus on our auth layout component. So the first thing I want to do is change is logged in back to false because I want the auth layout um, component to be rendered. I'm going to close this file and open up my auth layout component. I'm also going to collapse my uh, VS Code sidebar just to have a more clean workspace. Next, I'm going to remove the paragraph tag and the structure of the layout begin with a logo followed by a form the form section is whatever the current action that the user need to do for example if the user need to log in it will render the login form and if the user want to register it will render the register form next is going to be the actions this section will be the links that a user can click on whether it's login, register, or forgot password. So now I want to focus on the logo section. I'm going to give it a div with a class name of auth layout underscore logo. Inside that is going to be an image tag. I'm going to look inside my assets folder, inside the image folder, and there's an SVG file called shuttle. For the out, I'm just going to say logo and give that a save. Now I want to check my front end. Oh wow, that looked nice. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to go back to my VS Code. And for the form, I'm going to import my um, login component. And it's going to be inside my components folders, inside login, and then the login file. I'm going to output it down here. It's going to be a self-closing tag. Give that a quick save. Next, I'm going to work on my actions. It's going to be a div tag with a class name of auth layout underscore actions. Inside that, it's going to be 2p tag. The first one, I'm going to give a class name of auth layout underscore actions dash L stand for the left side. And I'm going to say registered. Next, I'm going to have a P tag with the auth layout underscore actions dash R for right. And then I'm going to say login. Give that a quick save and check out my front end. Here's my logo. Here's my form. And here's all my actions. All right, let's go back to VS Code and start some styling. I'm going to open up my um, auth layout SAS file and give it a split screen. Make sure your live SAS compiler is watching. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is define the height. I'm going to give it a height of 100 view height and change the background to purple dark. Next, I'm going to give it a display of flex. The flex direction will be column. I'm going to justify content center everything and then align center everything also. Next, I want to target the logo. I'm going to give it a border radius of 50%. Padding of 2M. Margin bottom of 4M. Next, I'm going to target the image. I'm going to give it a max width of 100 pixel. Give that a quick save and check out my front end. As you can see, everything looks a little bit better. Let's go back to VS Code. The next thing I want to target is my actions. It's also going to have a display of flex. Justify content, I'm going to set it to space between. I'm going to give it a max width of 370 pixel and the width of 100% I'm gonna give a margin top of 2m as for padding it's gonna be zero top and bottom and then two pixel left and right I also want to target the paragraph tag and give it a text transform of uppercase the cursor is gonna be pointer and the font weight is going to be 300. 
Now I want to target the left paragraph. I'm going to give it a color of yellow. And then the right side, I'm going to give it the color of pink. Give that a quick save and check out my front end. All right, looking much better. Let's go back to VS Code. Next, I want to work on the logo animation. So I'm going to define a keyframe. And I'm going to name the animation float. I'm going to start at 0%. And then duplicate that four times. I'm going to change the second line to 25%. Followed by 50. Next will be 75. And the last line will be 100%. At 0%, I want a box shadow of 0, 5 pixel, 15 pixel, 0. RGBA color of 252, 222, 255, and an alpha of 0.6. Next, I want a transform of translate X and set that to zero. At 25%, I want a box shadow of zero, 25 pixel, 15 pixel, zero, RGBA color of 255, 133, 173, and an alpha of 0.2. The transform will be translate X and I'm going to set that to 5 pixel. At 50%, we're going to have the same box shadow of 0, 25 pixel, 15 pixel, 0, and also the same RGBA color. But this time the transform will be translate Y and I will set that to negative 5 pixel. At 75%, we're still going to have the same box shadow of 0, 25 pixel, 15 pixel, 0, and the same RGBA color. This time the transform will be translate X and I will set that to 5 pixel. And lastly at 100% my box shadow will be 0, 5 pixel, 15 pixel, 0 and the RGBA color will be 252, 222, 255 and 0.6 alpha. The transform will be translate X and I will set that to zero. Next, I want to scroll up to my logo and apply the animation. So I will say animation and the name was float. I will give it a six second duration and an ease in out transition. I also want to loop this infinitely. So I will say infinite, give it a quick save and navigate to my front end. As you can see, our logo have this hovering floating fill and that's the effect I was going for. And this actually wrap up the lesson. And in our next lesson, we're going to work on our login form, which is our login component. See you then.